What is it? Uh, December 28th? Uh, December 28th, I already? think. Cri Christmas is over. Did you pack in enough of the holiday spirit? No, I want more. I really do. I do too. Well, it's not too late to experience the color and joy of the season. You can just head to Lawrence and Gardens. Yeah, you can. Welcome back, Mia Jenkins. Good to see Thank you, Mia. Thank you. Good to see you as How well. How are things looking over there? I mean, you had the Poinsettia oh, show. Is that still going on? It is so beautiful. It's on display through January 4th, just closed on New Year's Day. And it really is just a horticultural representation of the season. So many bright colors and um, textures just layered together along with the model garden trains mm -hmm. and it just really creates a great ambiance to kind of continue the holiday spirit into the new year. Now we saw that poinsettia. Do you say poinsettia or poinsettia? Poinsettia. Oh, I can't it's get okay. down. It's okay. Right. It's all right. Say it different ways. It's, it's okay. So yeah, it's, it's like a tomato tomato thing. Mm -hmm. It's not poinsettia just poinsettia. Poinsettia. And it's not just the poinsettia tree, right? Is there more than one? Correct. Thing? We have one 20 foot tall poinsettia tree just made up of more than 500 plants alone Gorgeous. and then we have lots of other beds that are filled with different colors of poinsettias from they're not um, just red pink, yeah, yeah there's pinks and, and corals mm -hmm. and creams and some that look like they've been painted some that look almost like broken ice across mm -hmm. the top um, so it's really a great way to see different uh, types of plants that um, instead of just the red ones. Yeah. I love the colors there. It's so beautiful. And I know a lot of people love Lords and Gardens in the summertime, but I'll tell you, this is one of my favorite, favorite times things. of year with the poinsettias. Mine as well, and it's it's great with the like with the trains. You see kids, and you see grandparents, and you just really see people coming together and building holiday memories together, which is mm -hmm. what we want. And it's um, all kind of through through plants that we're doing mm -hmm. it to create this beautiful environment for people to enjoy. Um, the conservatory is also open, mm -hmm. so that is, you know, it's a great um, warm environment, still filled with lush greens and lots of blooms. And then we have uh, the garden will be lit from 5 to 8 p.m. Um, both of those indoor environments to kind of, as, as you could see before the pictures, um, yeah. it just really kind of brings it to life in a completely new way. And that's from 5 to 8 p.m. through the 30th and then January 2nd and 3rd. Now I want to ask this question: Where do you get all these poinsettias from? Well, we grow them in our you, greenhouses. You do grow them. We do. Okay, we do. Yeah. Um, we buy different varieties from suppliers every year. We like mm -hmm. to try some um, some new varieties every year, along with visitor favorites, mm -hmm. and then some that just work well on um, the timing with like when we have to start them and when we need them to bloom or to show the color. And so we pick different varieties every year. I think this year of close to 30 and mm. we grew more than 5,000 plants. So our horticulture team, it's kind of, you know, their gift to the community, mm -hmm. all the effort that they take to grow these plants to share. It is gorgeous. And in conjunction with the Poinsettia exhibit, there's something called Poinsettia Show a Glow, right? Is yeah, that, that's, is that still going on? Is there still opportunities to see that? It is. That's when we light the garden. It's from 5 to 8 p.m. tonight, tomorrow, and Saturday, and then we're off on um, the 31st and 1st and reopen the 2nd and 3rd. So there's five more nights that you could see mm -hmm. it glow. That's also just included with regular admission, and there's just different little light displays that enhance the plant material mm -hmm. and or the poinsettia display in the floral display hall. So it is mostly all indoors. So in these really, really cold temperatures, right. it's yes. still something you can go see that is holiday related, kind of keep your family if they're still in town busy, keep the kids when they're out of school, something to do um, and to, again, just make some memories together. It's like a vacation right here in the middle of the Omaha. I mean, you feel like you're getting away to a tropical paradise I agree. just for a it's, couple hours. In this time of year when it's so cold outside, mm -hmm. it's so refreshing and relaxing mm -hmm. to walk through the and conservatory. The uh, I mean, the, mm -hmm. you have there's some humidity in the air. It Definitely. It does feel like you're, you're somewhere else. It does. It's kind of like you're in like the like the southern climate in one mm -hmm. room, sort of like a Georgia or South Carolina, and then you go into Florida or the tropics, right, right. and I'll just stay there that's for a while. Exactly. Yeah, <laughs> I would too. I, let's go there now. Mm -hmm. I could right, really yeah. use that this morning. Yeah. Uh -huh. well, we're open till eight, so just yes, come yeah, on yeah, down. Yeah, after you're the a show. good saleswoman. <laughs> We've got a cool uh, new exhibit coming in January. We do. We have an exhibit called Metamorphosis, and we try to bring in new things that really or tie back to nature um, throughout the year. And this one features two artists named Sayaka Gans and Aurora Robeson, and they are bringing in. Um, mostly custom sculptures that have been built for art um, to indoor garden areas. They're all made from reclaimed plastics, but you have to look really close. It looks to like see glass. That. You see those it dolphins. does. It looks, yes, yeah. it's amazing. And 
What's great is up close, you start to see things. I think kids will love it. You'll mm -hmm. see like ice scrapers and baseball helmets and um, things that kind of create the shapes. Mm -hmm. um, and then there's one giant installation that Aurora is creating in our floral display hall that will reach the ceiling almost. It's like 60 feet tall, all out of plastic, kind of creating a vortex. What's cool about it is that it not only does it change, like literally change the plastic into art, we hope that it also has an environmental message that shows um, how much we do waste in single-use plastics. Um, it's, it's incredible the amount of plastic mm -hmm. we do not recycle mm -hmm. on our planet, and so it will have a little bit of an environmental message with it as well. That exhibit's gonna be through the winter and into the spring. Yeah, Those, it'll run through Mother's Day, so Mother's Day, January okay. 20th through May 15th. Listen, there's still opportunity to get some memberships. There are, this yep. is a discount for the next couple days, right? Yep, through the end of the year, $5 off any gift. So if you've got some Christmas money to spend, few or days. <laughs> Go. Do it quickly. LordsandGardens.org is the website. Yes. Mia thank Jenkins, you. good to see you. As always, thank you. Yes. Yeah. And point, point sorry, Mia. You, you are a video. gorgeous, beautiful woman. <laughs> But I'm just thinking about Bob Ross when he came home from Halloween, and I just I loved that so much. She was yeah. dressed up as Bob Ross. We yeah. need to get it was two one of my finer moments. So good. Yes. <laughs> Thank well, today's you. National Card.